Hi, my name is Clinton Joshua. Some of you might know me as Xavier. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. So, um, I'm off. Hello, guys, welcome back again to G with Gully B. So, guys, if it's your first time on being on this channel, please do want to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking around. So, guys, in today's video, I'll be telling you every single movie of Clayton Joshua he has acted. From 2023 down to 2024. you all the movies have acted, and not just that, I'll be telling you the storyline. Coming in first is Anomous Valentine. Anomous Valentine is a very beautiful love story of two people who are in love with each other but don't know each other. They will chat themselves faceless, like they don't know, they have never met each other but they have crush and they love each other just by chatting with each other. So in this movie, we have Clayton Joshua as Tamuno, and then we have Tauma Chukuwim as Mrs. Green, and we have Priska as Lena. So the story is Asu is on strike, and Tamuno, a third year medical student, is finally able to pursue his real passion, fashion design. He arrives at Fumi Bello Fashion House and begins his training under Mrs. Green. As a student of Fumi Bello, he shares a studio flat with two other apprentices. Nedu and Sheyi. Tamuno has a friend who he chats with on the Faceless app. They have been friends for a while and the name he knows her is by Luisa B. Every time chatting with her, Tamuno lightens up. She is like the love of his life, but they have never met. They neither know each other names, nor have they exchanged photos. Eight days after the ASU strike commenced, Mrs. Green's daughter Lena returned home from school. The very first day Lina and Tamuno met, they ate each other. He despised her pretty attitude while she thinks he is smartest. Tamuno and Yuzabi make plans to see each other on Valentine's Day. They pick a place and a table number five and choose to wear red on that day. On Valentine's Day, Lena and Tamuno met at Fumi's Bello both wearing red. Tamuno compliments her dress and she compliments him too. They also tell each other that they are going on a date. Tamuno arrives at the restaurant and seated at table 5, waiting for the love of his life to arrive. He seated at the restaurant table 5 and in walks Lena. She sees Tamuno seated at table 5 and in shock, she chats with the user Z on the faceless app. To be sure, it's table 5 and there she confirms that the boy she loves, this user Z, is Tamuno. She leaves Tamuno angry, alone and stood up on Valentine's Day. Tamuno is at Buku and a shadow of himself. Lena is hot in too but can't tell him because she thinks he would be disappointed. Treasure in the Sky This movie is a movie that if you want to watch this movie, just keep a tissue paper close to you because definitely going to cry while watching this movie it's a very soulful movie and i can guarantee you of crying while you're watching this movie now this movie cast a miwa olowu femi she acted as kamsi in this movie clayton joshua acted as jidena and chinye inebe acted as amina in this movie the story this is a story about a young boy named jidena there's no perfect word to describe him than perfect or even more than perfect. This movie opened up with a bucket list of camp scene. Everybody was wondering what will someone write cow milk on a bucket list. So Jidena is a very perfect someone, like he's very, very perfect. But she said that he tried all his best to reconcile everybody who have argument. He tries to make everybody happy in this movie. Everything started when they went for an excursion in the school for their final year, an STV project at Alpha Ifa Natural Community. There we get to see Jidena at work. First, he was very kind and attentive to Kamsi, telling people to stop bullying her. He even tries to be her friend and asks her out to prom but she rejects his proposal. Next, we see him trying to mend blessing and peace relationship. Well, he wasn't able to do that while he was alive. Then, in Jidena's final tax, he meant the broken relationship between Amina and Promise. Jidena and Amina were never a couple. 
they were best friends. She was still hung up on Promise and asked Jidena to add as her boyfriend. Promise was also using Bella as a distraction from his feelings for Amina. When Jidena exposed this, Amina and Promise get back together. Now, this is where the problem comes in. This is where it becomes so sorrowful and tearing. Jidena then asks Kamsi to be his prom date for the second time, and she says yes. However, on their way back to school, he collapses. Then he wakes up in the hospital and he reveals that he has stage 4 leukemia. Hmm. But then, from then on, his classmate was thrown into money. They visit him every day. Amina is shattered while Kamsi is broken. Kamsi does a pre poem with him in the hospital and in the end, they find out he is dead. But then, Jidena doesn't die without making people's dreams come true. He made his dad offer Samson a scholarship to the university level, offers Mr. George a job after his youth service, and writes a seven million naira check for Kamsi's sister girl bladder surgery. The next is My Crazy Rich Girlfriend. This movie is <laughs> it's crazy as the name implies. This movie was actually acted by Chinye Inebe, Clayton Joshua, and Kofi. Chinye Inebe is a spoiled brat whose father wanted her to go to the UK for her masters with her boyfriend, Jeffrey. Her parents literally choose everything for her. The school she goes to, the friends she make, the boyfriend she has, every single thing she does, her parent chooses it for her. She's the only child of her parents, so they do everything for her. She this movie is a kind of comedy. Like, it's comedy. You have to you will laugh in this movie. It's fun. It's funny. And it's a very beautiful masterpiece. It's a movie of Clint Joshua being so grumpy when he met Chinaye because Chinaye was so annoying. But beautiful. She was a spoiled brat who, who does not mind paying 2.5 million just to spend some weeks in Clayton Joshua house with his elder sister. Coming in next is The Young Couples. As the name implies, you should know already what the movie is all about. It's all about two young couples who got married to, I don't feel like they are too young. The lady is so young, the guy is so young. She was pregnant. And you know this pregnancy cravings now, like she wants bread, the next minute she wants this, the next minute she wants that. And Kitten Joshua was actually broke, a kind of a broke guy who could not even feed for himself finish. And now he has a wife who is pregnant. This movie is interesting. You get to see two young lovers who love each other so much. Even without nothing. <laughs> she will say she wants bread, she will say she wants the food that neighbor is cooking. Yes, the neighbor cooking the next door, I should be like, okay, the food my neighbor is cooking, I want that food. Go and get me that food. You know, it's pregnancy cravings now. So, this movie was all about young couples, young love. Um, a mother came from Omogo. Oh it's kind of a very interesting movie. Coming in next is Kane and Kate. Kane and Kate, another interesting movie. It's very interesting. So this is a movie of like five cast members. So the main plot was Kane, which is creating Joshua, and Kate, which is Chinaye Mocho. They are both forced to be in a class presentation group together with their friends, Tasco Obi Kane, and Brenda Nassin Diamond, and Dozier Eze Emeka. They both hate each other initially so much that it gets physically. However, they find a common ground and the friendship begins. The friendship turns into something more, but Kate can't fully commit to a relationship because she's battling with some demons. <laughs> the next is True is Eyes. True is Eyes. This is another uh, romantic movie. Sweet movie. I don't, I don't know if you know something about um, Kate and Joshua that he doesn't kiss in his movies. Have you taken note of that? Like, I've never seen Clayton Joshua and Kiss in any of his movies, like, and that is so sweet. He's very sweet, lovely, very romantic, he's wears, but he doesn't kiss. Even in this movie, through his eyes, he didn't kiss. But this movie is about a young guy who is from a very rich family. His grandfather was rich, his father is rich. Father wants to take over the company. He's a very rich guy, a very, very rich guy. And 
There was a lady named Nana. She was actually a blind lady, and we have a daughter who is also from a very rich family, and her parents want her to get married to Clinton Joshua, whose parents also want him to get married to her daughter because both of them are like a oh, family friend, and they are both of them are rich and want like you no, know, this rich you know get married to each other. Clinton Joshua did not like her daughter. Mira, they were like Clinton Joshua, but. Because of her parents, she just have to just be with Kate and Joshua at the same time. But Kate Joshua later fell in love with Nana, who is a coupler, like a shoemaker coupler. Yeah. He fell in love with Nana, and Nana is a blind lady. That's why that film is titled Through His Eyes, because she cannot see, but she sees through his eyes. Mm -hmm. So, through his eyes, he fell in love with her, and he broke up with Adora, and spoke with his father and his mother. He's in love with her. Nana and not Adora, and he wants to move his relationship with Nana to the next level. Nana, being a poor lady and a copra, felt like Kitten Joshua was not in love with her. But later on, you know, I, you know now you know how it goes. Later on, fell in love with each other, and that is how it ended. So that was just it between through his eyes. Then the next is When Angels Meet. When Angels Meet is another love movie, and it's the same Chioma Idok that they acted in this movie too. This When Angels Meet happens to be the first movie of Clayton Joshua. This is his first movie, When Angels Meet. When Angels Meet is a movie of savior falling in love with purity. This is a university movie, where we have Savior being to Joshua and then Purity being Choma Idek. Choma was a very intelligent student who was on scholarship in the school, while Ketun Joshua was a very rich brat who, who believes he can become a CEO, he can rule his fellow's company without him being educated. On the other hand, his fellow believes that he must be educated, he must pass with flying colors in the school before he can take over his company. This has to now push Clinton Joshua because he wants to become a CEO of his flat company. He has to learn and pass his exam by himself. This is how Clinton Joshua and Choma Ida, which is purity and savior, became very close and decided to do their assignment, set everything together, and that was our savior past exam. And along while he was reading with her, he was falling in love with her. But Clinton Joshua fell in love with purity and Purity was also in love with Savior. And the movie ended with the both of them being in love with each other, with him introducing her to his father, and his father approved of that relationship. So that was it. We have another called A Troubled Art. Yes, A Troubled Art is a movie of love, friendship, and betrayal. It comprises of love, friendship, betrayal. Okay, then Joshua in that movie was was very well snubbed by his father. His father does not really care to get his time, have his time or love him. His father does not have his time. He was a trop, he was someone who was kind of troubled. He was not happy, he was not excited. And uh, this, this movie also called with betrayer. Yes, there was betrayer in this movie. A lot of betrayers, a lot of betrayers in this movie. And friendship, yes. And the last on the list is Right Wings. This movie is not yet out yet. This movie is not yet out yet. Let me make it very clear. I don't know some people now will start searching for this movie, Right Wings, Right Wings. And they'll come to the competition and like, oh, you gave us a wrong name, you gave us a wrong name, you, you lied, you lied. No. This movie, White Wings, is not yet out at the time of making this video. Maybe when you will see this video, this movie will be out. But for now, at the time of making this video, this movie is not yet out. So this White Wings, yeah, is Clinton, it's Clinton Joshua and Oni Alice at this movie together. So I will, I'm actually anticipating for this movie. I, I want to watch this movie. I've literally watched like all of the Joshua movies already. So this one, I'm waiting for it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. See you guys on my next video. And before then, please tell me which of the Kitten Joshua movies have you watched and which of them are you here to see? Mm -hmm. And tell me one thing you love more about Clayton Joshua. 
so guys thanks so much for watching this video to the end see you guys on my next video please don't forget to subscribe turn your post notification bell to be notified whenever i post a new video and please don't forget to like this video and drop down your comment remember tell me what you like more about and which of these movies are you yet to see bye for now